Hello everyone. In the last tutorial we looked at what variables are in programming and why do we even need to use variables in our code. And in this tutorial we will look at a very similar concept related to variables which are global and local variables. And to show the difference between them I'll demonstrate it using this picture. So let's understand this picture first. Now in this picture you can see that we have two sprites. The first is loin and the second is cat. And we also have two variables which are represented as boxes. So the first box is name and this is a variable. And then we have another variable and the name of that variable is score. Now let's look at global variables first. So a global variable is a type of variable whose values can be changed and retrieved by any sprite in our program. So let's say this sprite cat made this variable score. Now our cat can change the value of the score as well as it can read the value of the score. But there is also another sprite line and even this sprite can read and change the value of this variable score even though my cat has created this variable and not loin. So in global variables any sprite can either change or read its value even though it has created that variable or not. Now if we look at local variables a local variable is a type of variable in which only the sprite who created that variable can change its value. Now let's say we have a sprite here loin and my loin created this variable name. So we can see that my loin can change the value of it as well as read the value of it. But my other sprite cat can only read the value of it. It cannot change its value. So a local variable can only allow the owner of it to change its value. But the other variable can only read the value of the local variable. Now I'll demonstrate it in code. So let's go back to scratch. And here we can see that we have two sprites. One is Ben and the second one is Sam. Now in Scratch, we can make both variables, either local or global variable. And if we click the make a variable, you will see this window. And in this window, we can type the name of the variable. And if we see at the bottom, we have two options. The first option is for all sprites. And the second option is for this sprite only. So our first option for all sprite means that all the sprites can either change its value or read its value. So it's a global variable. And the second option for this sprite only, this is a local variable because this variable is created by one of our sprite and only that sprite can change its value. So first we will create a global variable called score and I'll click OK. Now the first thing to notice here is that my Sam created this variable score but even if I go to Ben you can see that our variable is present in Ben as well. Now to write a simple code what I'll do is I'll go to when green flag clicked and we'll show that both of these sprites can change its value and retrieve its value. So what I'll do is I will first of all set my score to let's say 4-3 and then in the looks I will simply print its value. So you can see that even though my Sam created this variable my Ben can change it and can read it and also same I'll write this code here so when green flag clicked then I'll get the save block and I will change the score and I'll print the score and let's say my SAM score is 2-3. Dash dash 
now when I'll run this code block you will see that my Sam will print 2-3 and my Ben will print 4-3 so let me run it and you can see the difference you can see that both of these sprites were able to show different different values I'll run it again once more time with the increase in seconds and now if I run it again it's quite clear that Sam is showing 2-3 and Ben is showing 4-3 now let's make another variable with make a variable but this time I will choose for this sprite only and notice that I am currently on Sam so I will create a new variable called team and I'll press OK now notice that I am at Sam and Sam has this variable team but if I go to Ben you can see that team variable is not here and also if you see my game screen you'll see that we have a team variable here and there is Sam written at the start so this means that my team variable was created by Sam and it's a local variable so my Ben cannot actually change the value of my variable team but my very my sprite Sam can so if I want to set the value of team I can simply click this arrow and select team here and let's say I'll call Real Madrid and rather than printing score I will print team but if I go to Ben and click this arrow you'll notice that I do not even have that variable team so I can't change its value but what I can do is I can retrieve its value so to retrieve its value what I can do is I can go to my sensing category and here we learned a code block which was this one and rather than selecting stage I will select my other sprite which was Sam and here you'll see that we have a team variable so this will allow us to read whatever value is set in my team and now if I want to print it I will simply use that code block inside the say block now when I'll first run it you'll see that my Ben will print 0 because currently its value is 0 but my Sam will print real Madrid because we have already set its value so let me run the code block and you can see that Sam prints Real Madrid but Ben prints 0 but now when I'll run it again you'll see that both of them will print Real Madrid because Ben can only retrieve its value so let me run it and you can see that both Ben and Sam print the same value because Ben is only allowed to read it and it, it's, it is not allowed to change it so I hope you learned the difference between local and global variables if you have any question you can comment and I'll try to answer it and if you like this channel subscribe to it as well thank you